everyone, and thanks for watching Lori Wired. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an APK and use APK Lab, the VS Code extension, to recompile an APK and allow it to be debugged. I'm also going to show you how to use APK Lab to install that newly created debuggable APK onto a device. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to use ADB to connect to the device and then let that newly installed debuggable application wait for a debugger to attach. So I have my sample here, and this is available on Malware Bazaar, and I'll link to it in the comments. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up in VS Code. So I'm going to use my APK Lab extension to open up this APK. So I will run Control Shift P, select APK Lab, open an APK. And I'm going to go to the sample that I have chosen for this video. So I have selected my APK and I'm not going to bother selecting any of these other options for right now. I'm just going to leave it as default and let it do its APK tool decoding. So you can look at the commands that this is actually running in the terminal. And if you wanted to, you can run these commands yourself, but it's just really convenient to do all of these through APK Lab. So now APK Lab has finished running its decoding commands and decoded all of the resources, including the Android manifest for us. So I'm gonna close out our old window and full screen to this newly generated one. So let's go ahead and look at the Android manifest and we can verify whether this is a debuggable APK or not by hitting control F inside of here. And let's search for the keyword debug. And it does look like we have no results here. So this means that the APK is not currently debuggable. So if you did try to set this to be debugged, then it would actually go ahead and fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recompile this now. So if we come over here to the left hand side and we right click on aptool.yaml, we'll select rebuild the APK. And we need to check debug. So it's actually just going to make a small modification to the Android manifest. And it's going to add this debuggable true flag and give us a new APK based on this. So I'm going to check this and let it run. So it looks like it was successful and it has signed and created a new APK that we can actually go ahead and install on a device. So if we want to see that, it's created this new dist folder right here. So I'm going to expand and you see we now have an entirely new APK. So if we want to just quickly double check, we can just open this up with JDEX how we normally would and we'll just take a look at the manifest file real fast. So I'm going to look at my JDEX decompiler. Remember, we want to go to that dist folder for our new APK. We want to be careful not to look at the old APK or else this one is still not debuggable. So let's throw our new APK into JDEX and let it do its analysis. And we'll open up our Android manifest. So we can check and verify that it's debuggable by doing control F. Let's search for the word debug. And it did indeed add this new flag for us in our newly generated APK. So now all we need to do is install this APK on our emulator. So I'm going to start my emulator booting up. Um, if you would like to uh -oh. use Docker to run your emulator, I have another video tutorial on how to do that. And so you can just follow along with me as I install this on my emulator. I'm going to bring up the user interface for my emulator and let it complete its boot process. All right, so now my emulator has completed its boot process and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that ADB or the Android debug bridge that we use to connect to Android devices has successfully found this device. 
So I'm gonna go back to my VS code and I can just use the terminal here or you could use any terminal that you wanna bring up, but I'll just go in here. So I'm going to verify that my device has actually connected by running ADB devices and it does not look like it has actually successfully attached to my emulator. So I'm gonna do ADB connect localhost. That's my own IP address. And then 5555 is the ADB port. So now we've connected to our device and we can see our device is actually attached. So I'll put this over here. And what we can do now, I'll actually full screen this for now. What we can do now is go ahead and install our recompiled debuggable APK onto our emulator. So we have our new APK here and we verified that it is debuggable. So I'm gonna right click and then just hit install the APK. And it looks like that process was successful, no problem. So now we can see that we do indeed have our debuggable, debuggable application on the device. However, if I just ran this right now, it wouldn't actually wait for a debugger to attach. That's a setting that I need to go in and set for this particular installed package. So I'm gonna do that through ADB. I'll pull up my VS Code terminal right now and I'll go to the terminal and I'm just going to do adb shell and if we remember our package name we can get that by going up here and seeing package equals so this is going to be the name of our package that you can see installed on the device so I'll pull that back over here package manager list package pipe grep and then we'll just use part of the package name to search for that string and just verify that our application is installed and we can see it right here so what we're going to do is we're going to run android manager set debug app dash w means wait for the debugger to attach and then we're going to use our package name copy that or we can just type it com.first.smoke. All right, so now our app is actually set to be wait for the debugger to attach before it runs anything. So I'll go back to my emulator and just show that it's gonna wait for our debugger. So there we go, you should see this waiting for debugger to attach. So as soon as you attach the debugger to this active process, then it would go ahead and allow the app to start running. So I'm going to kill my emulator now since I don't need it anymore and I'm not gonna actually debug this process in this tutorial. So don't forget to remove your container once you're done running your emulator. So thanks for watching this tutorial, everyone. Today we took an APK and we used APK Lab to recompile it to set it to be debuggable. We also installed that new debuggable APK onto our emulator. And finally, we set the APK that was installed on our emulator to wait for a debugger to attach before running any of its application functionality. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial and I'll catch you next time on the next tutorial in Lori Wired. Oh, geez.